Hello everybody, today's video we're going to do a quality review on a brand new pair of Allen Edmond Park Avenues purchased in... In April 2022, post-COVID. Okay, so let's go. Hello everybody, it's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of My five. My shoe collection. These are made of shell cordovan. Can you tell the difference? Now here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. And here they are, all finished up. You might guys remember, may remember Hayden. He's been in um, at least one, if not two. The reason I'm not sure is because he's in the cutting room of another video that's not released yet, so. Right. Uh, but anyway, we've got a pair of Allen Edmonds, and this is right, Park Avenues, and they are, what size are they? Uh, uh, nine nine, nine and a half, half, three E, triple E. Uh, triple E, okay. Yeah. By the way, a little side note. You got into Alan Edmonds, what, a couple years ago? A couple of years ago, yes. Okay. And How'd you hear about them? Uh, I actually heard about them, <laughs> I actually heard about them from <laughs> you um, because I was saying I had arrived in America and I was looking for a quality pair of shoes and I thought, you know, I might see what, you know, what I can buy in America. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, you know, absolutely try Alan Edmonds because they come in triple E sizes and I thought oh fantastic now did you know you were a triple E when no you... I did not what no. size did you think you were before you went to Allen Edmonds um so I knew that I was an uh, so our English sizes in England work slightly differently uh -huh. one uh, down right yes it's always one down and I was just buying I was just buying uh, churches and uh, and Clarks's um, you know, just sort of basic Northampton type shoes. What, and what size? UK size? Uh, so nine. Nine, which would be 10. Yes. So a nine UK would be 10 US. Yes. Standard width? Standard width. Because a lot of those brands don't have as many wide widths. Yes. The, and, and this is since obviously learning about Alan Edmonds, the fact that they've existed for so long, mm -hmm. the fact that they have so many lasts, the mm -hmm. fact that they... Mm -hmm you know continue to build uh you know all the shoes in all the lasts and and even with uh you know all the you know all all sorts of problems they've continued Ooh. yes <laughs> <laughs> the new right. shoe smell indeed yes and by the way i've heard of this in my first time seeing it this is a single shoe bag with a separator in it right yes i guess they got i'll let you take the other one yep. i guess they got a lot of flack because they went to from I think two individual shoe bags yeah. to one shoe bag and then the shoes would clunk together and people you know didn't like that so yeah so here they are so uh this logo here you can see there I call it the military font uh, they started using that I believe in the fall about September of 2018 I think it was bench welt is their moniker for the traditional Goodyear welted with a leather outsole right Alan Edmonds uh, uh Port Washington Bench well, 1922, 100 year old company now, right? Mm -hmm. I think all you did so far was you just laced them. I, I just laced them, try, put them on my feet just to sort of walk around the house a little bit. So let me turn the camera around and let's uh, just review these things and see what the quality is like on them. Okay. So let's take a close look at these shoes. First, one of the first things I usually look for is just look all the way around the uh, perimeter to see how the stitching is. I had to return one pair of Allen Edmonds and get them repaired because the stitching it was I think it was somewhere over here um, actually ran off of the edge of the welt but it looks pretty good uh, there is the seam the welt has an overlap and it is skived at a 45 degree and it looks like they did a pretty doggone good job I would say with that you know and these are what 395 yes. retail still so yep. uh, these are not obviously these are first qualities not seconds or anything like that and both of them I believe yeah, that seems pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it looks good to me. And then I'll try and keep it parallel to the camera. And what I'm looking at now is is the cap toe, or both of the cap toes even, and level. You know, one could be, you know, like that or something, and they look really good to me. Distancing, they look well lasted. Sometimes you'll see like wrinkling, which isn't, you know. Like, you can see just a hint of it there. You see, like, I don't know if you can even see, but that that's totally 100% fine. So remember, this is, you know, it's, the price point, usually you're going to get Allen Edmonds for between 250 to 400 The coloring is, is nice. They have a little bit of variation in color. I don't know if I'd necessarily say that. I guess they're lightly burnished. It's a little bit darker, I think. 
around the throat here and the tip of the toes, I'd say, right? But this is pretty standard, right? Not a ton of color variation. Now, I did notice a spot right there, the inside of the heel. That came that way? Yes, yes, okay. it came that way. Yeah. And that will absolutely see, this is the kind of stuff where sometimes people get, you know, flipped out about. You know, if you want perfect, perfect looking shoes, the corrected grain leather is usually what you get for anything under a couple hundred bucks. Corrected grain leather, in short, is where the leather surface is ground off because it's imperfect and then coated with plastic. And, you know, so the corrected grain leather, my opinion, anything made in the last 20 years out of corrected grain, it always cracks, especially right up here. This is full grain leather. And the way you can tell is look at, when you get close, you see those pores? You can mm -hmm. see this was the, the, the skin, the outside of the live animal. But, you know, so it's a little more susceptible, but you just take some cream polish and that'll 100% go away. Yeah. Um, from the bottom side, oops, was that from, I think that, just on the table. I think that was from my table. Yeah, I think I got your shoe dirty. But, that looks pretty good. Yeah. There's a little bit of flash, just uh Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it right there? Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's okay. With the sander, yep, hit the... Heels are pretty centered. You know, the V should be in the center of the, you know. I'm getting my shoes dirty already, right? Mm. They look pretty good to me. Only thing I could see here, and now we're really nitpicking. Okay, I'll put it up this way. Um, if I line up the back of the shoe. No, I'm really nitpicking here. It looks like to me the, the it would be the left shoe, which is on the right side. The heel is a little shorter, a little, little bit, fraction of an inch, but that's, that's, now we're really nitpicking. Yes, yeah. Stitch density looks yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know, not really. Yeah. Is it a stacked heel block or full? Now these, as far as I know, even for many years now, for a few decades, uh, they're using like a fiber board material. I think it's a composite leather material. So it's, you know, it is leather, I guess, but I think it's composite leather material. And it always looks nice on the edges. Now the edge finishing is, from what I've seen, the edge finishing on Allen Edges has never been at the level of like an Alden or, you know, some of the higher brands even. Or, yes. you know, when you get up into the $500 plus range, it's never been, you know, excellent. And this is pretty typical. So I'm going to try to capture this in the light. You can actually see, duh, 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 like, we can see vertical lines. Can you see that? I'm trying to catch it just right. Oh, you're getting it, yeah. You know, you can. So, I mean, like I said, that's not wrong. That's just as good as they do it. Uh, John, uh, what's his name? John, uh, the Wisconsin shoe guy. I'll put a link to his channel. Um, he's had, I think, about 140 pairs of Allen Edmonds, and he's got a massive shoe collection. Every brand you could think of, he's had, you know, a couple, few pairs of. He said it the best. He said Allen Edmonds is not as concerned with how the shoes look. I'm paraphrasing what he mm. said. They're more concerned with the function and durability. And I was like, you know, that made sense. And here we go. It's a little, little more so there, right there. That's where I'd say the. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my McAllisters that I purchased, I actually, at one point, a few months after purchasing them, um, or maybe a year after, I took some sandpaper. And, you know, if you're really ambitious, you can't actually sand that um, if that does bother you. And you go progressively finer. You know, start with, like, 120, then go to, you know, like a, you know, so I don't know what next, like a 240, then a 320. And yeah. by the time you get to 400, you'll the 400 grit sandpaper, you'll almost see a shine. Yes. Then after you hit 400, you can wet it down. Uh, to get the hairs to stand up, do it one more time, you know, then polish it with cream polish and it'll look, you know, but I wouldn't touch it. So um, I'm even looking to see, now granted there's no broguing on these, so we don't have as much of a challenge there. Uh, triple stitching, yeah, okay, and, uh, the triple stitching, two of the three stitching, I assume this is a machine that does all three at once. It's getting a little closer together there, but I would not call that a mistake and error. Like I said, if you want perfect, you know, you're going to shell out, you know, five to $800. I mean, these aren't, you know, Gaziano and Girlings. But, uh, you know, um, I should have brought them down. Um, I'll go get them. I have a pair of McAllister's I bought in, I think, 2016 or something like that. And yeah. a couple of the broguing holes aren't punched out. I'll show them. I'll go okay. get them. A couple interesting things. See here, and this is where it's like, how high a quality are you looking for? See, that's like kind of like a straight, straight, mm. you know, not a mistake in my books, totally fine. But again, you know, I mean, how much of a magnifying glass you see versus this one where it follows the curve a little more, but how much of a magnifying glass? They look really good to me. They smell beautiful, so I love that, that leather smell. Mm. 
does it often Alan Edmonds is the same person making the left and the right shoe or I think so I've seen some of the videos of the production and I believe they do yeah at every stage yes they absolutely have the same person so the uppers would be made together you know then stitched together at one phase and then lasted uh, at a different phase by the same gentleman or you know lady or whatever so um I guess if we gave these a scale from A to F, um, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this. There's nothing that I would really say, hey, this should be better or different. I mean, give them an A minus, I think. Yes, I think an A minus or, you know, an, an A on the sort of in, yeah. within Alan Edmund's own range. Absolutely. Uh, you know, if... You know, they're not Gatio and Girling. If, we're, right. if A is a Gatio Girling, then... Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, yeah, for yes. gesture. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me compare a couple things here. Uh, this pair of shoes, the newer shoes don't have a date code on them, but if you can see here, I'll try and get that in the light, 0537. 0537 is the date code. So these are 12 triple E, and this is a pair of Fifth Avenues, uh, and you can see that logo. These logos are different, believe it or not. <clears throat> this is the fall of 2008 and up logo. It looks like, I call it the military font. If you see the way the Allen is. Now these are all caps, but you see it's different. This is more like a Times New Roman capital letters. That logo ended in 1988 or 89. Um, the handcrafted world of Allen Edmonds. And then you see the model is actually down there. Uh, so these shoes, based on that seven, these shoes were made 0537 in the, uh, uh, I believe that's the fifth week, third day of the week, and a year ending in seven. I know that logo started in 82, I want to say, and uh, ended in 89, so I know these shoes were made in 1987. Um, so the leather quality, I don't know that I could honestly say I feel it different. I know of other people have said, oh, the leather quality back then, but these also are what is that? How many years is that? 25 years old now? Yes. You know, these, these pair of shoes. The, the stitching here is a couple of interesting things. The stitching here is actually flush. I know I put on these, you know, protective half soles. Um, the stitching here is flush, but look how dense it is compared to. It is not as dense anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't necessarily, it's nicer. It's great bragging rights for it to be denser, but here's another change. They basically did not cut um, what would you say, a, uh, is it a trench? It's not the right way. They didn't cut a groove for the stitching. Where now, I don't know how long it's been, since the 2000s, I think sometime in the early mid-90s, something like that, they started to cut a groove. You can see here another recessed in a groove, which is improvement because you're going to get to these stitches. I mean, you can actually, if you feel them there, okay. right, they're almost raised up above the, yes, yes. you know, you're going to dig into them pretty quick. So, you know, from that aspect, I guess this kind of looks prettier, but I'd say functionally, this is actually better, you know. But here's something, well, part of this, and you know what, this is just the size of the shoe. I just noticed this. So I'm a 12 triple E, you're a nine and a half triple E, but look at the size of the heel difference. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh yes, goodness gracious. Which my, my heels look, they're in the same focal plane. My heels look massive, <laughs> hmm. you know, so. Um, is the stitching better on the, I mean, yeah, the stitching on the 1987 shoe is better, but I mean, but the only difference I could really see is there versus there, I mean. You know, I mean, I'm fine with this, you know? Mm -hmm. What worries me about these old shoes, to be very honest with you, is them getting it dried out and cracking. You know, like here, I'm gonna show you. Right there, it's got the hint, you know, some surface cracking, just because these are 30, whatever, what did I say? 87, yes. 35 years, yeah, 35 yeah. year old shoes. You see, that's what scares me about these old shoes, even in really good shape. I purchased these in new, new old stock condition and I've kept them polished and moisturized, but. So, uh, here is a pair, this date code, 1131, so that's a year ending in one. This logo was after, the one that came after this one. Uh, so this logo is 89 to 2015, um, I believe. And so I think that's 2001. It's either 91 or 2001. I think it's probably 2001. And I think this is what people would call the heyday, the, the golden years of Alan Edmonds. Um, and you can see now they cut that. It's kind of interesting. This, Look at this. I never noticed this. Look at this. I've had these shoes for how long now? Golden era of Allen Edmonds, right? Yes. Look at this. Do you see what happened here? Do you see what's going on? Oh, yes, yes. They completely missed the groove. Yes. Right? So there you go. These are better than these. Look at that. In the groove. Mm -hmm. 
not in the groove. They missed it completely, totally. Now, obviously, we can't see it over here because I covered it up. This, side note, this is how I used to do the rubber protective half soles. Ugly, mm -hmm. right? Okay. More pretty, I think. Hmm. Clever, clever. I also got better at the edge finishing, too, if you notice. But anyway, um, edge finishing is something I didn't look at. You see, even this, look, back then, 87. You can see what I was talking about, right? The da, 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 and that's from the machine, right? I'm sure it's a, from the rotary head of the machine. You can still see the lines there. So that hasn't changed. And it's interesting. You can see the, the, the line is not straight anymore. But I know for a fact I've refinished these because I put new top lifts on them. Um, and I didn't do a great job because I think the first time I did these, I was still learning. And over time, leather kind of expands. It smushes out over time, too. But, you know, but anyway. So, um, I don't know. What, what can I derive from that? Um, I guess I can derive that just based on this small sample size, I can't say that I, you know. Yeah, I think there's a good quality still. Yeah, good quality. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with them. Yeah. So here is a pair of McAllister's. Um, I purchased these. I'm not sure. I don't remember when. This is either 2016 or 2017. I'll put in the description, correct myself. Um, obviously, a lot more going on with this shoe. This is a full brogue, uh, wingtip Oxford. And I'll show you. Where was it? I just had it. Right there. Mm. See that? Brogue hole's not punched through. Yep. And also, do you see how it's a little bit wrinkled here? I've got, I don't know, I think 11 pairs of Allen Edmonds. These are the only pair, I don't know if you noticed, this is a half of a, you know, insole I keep in there because I feel like this part was lasted high and it rubs on my ankle bone. You can see it still touches. Believe it or not, just the thickness of this is enough where it eliminates any pain. This is one of my 10,000 step shoes, meaning a shoe that I can walk 10,000 steps in and my feet don't hurt. Um, and I've even, you know, put new heels on them since. But, um, and you can see over here, the holes again this is a more complicated shoe you don't have this feature on the park avenues but you can see how the broguing if you look carefully first of all the two lines of stitching get closer together right here and it really is not capturing the broguing perfectly in the middle of it um that's okay though right and the other one it's also not right in the center of the broguing. You know, like you can see the stitching there actually hits some of those small broguing holes. Um, but they are punched all the way through. I didn't polish these up to, for you guys to view them. So anyway, um, what's the point of that? Well, you know, there's just another example of quality, what it was like and what it is like. And again, that was about five years ago. Here's the McNeils. Uh, these are the ones that I actually did have to have sent back. And uh, I'll cut in a picture of it, but they actually replace the welt and the sole. When I first got these shoes, you see they have that new military font logo on the insole. The outsoles had the older logo. Wow. You know, so it was right in that transitionary period. I think mm. these were purchased in 2019, uh, June of 2019. Huh. But, you know, so... These, these are the Rosetta Stone of, uh, of shoes. <laughs> right, right. That's <laughs> funny. That's funny, you know. I mean, a couple things like this, you know, kind of, eh, I don't know. Yes. That should be locked down a little better, but, you know. They, these shoes are also older. Yeah, but, so not perfect, never have been. But these are also uh, one of my 10,000 step shoes. I just love these things. They're just awesome. They're so comfortable. The last doesn't fit me quite as well as a 65 last, but I still like them. So in closing, I don't know, what are the closing remarks here? Well, I think I think the, the, the shoes... Even post COVID, even post, uh, you know, everyone's comments of, you know, the sort of the collective storm of, you know, the quality is going down. And by the way, I, I, let me, I better say this because we're kind of in the know and there may be novices on here. If you go, especially in a place like Alan Edmonds Enthusiasts, Alan Edmonds Enthusiasts Facebook group, there's a lot of people, it seems to have been in the last couple of years, a lot of people posting there and on Reddit. Um, and on styleforum.com about quality issues, quality. And we do see a lot of stuff. And some of them are like, I can't believe that got, you know, out of the store, admittedly. Yes. But another way I looked at it was Alan Edmonds Enthusiast Facebook group has 12,000 members. Goodness. So let's just say 3% of the people posted a quality issue once a year. 3%. Three 3%. Yes. 
we would have, if you do the math, what's 1% of 12,000? It's not much. Wait a minute. Did I do that math right? 1% of 12,000 is 1,200, right? So the three, yeah. You'd have 10 posts a day. It, it, you see what I'm saying? Yes. About quality issues. Even though, you know, it's one per, you know, a tiny minority. So um, I guess my best tips that I've heard from other people are, number one, buy the shoes from a store. Even if you, you're going to purchase them online, you see them online, call the store. You're going to pay the same price. Yes. In our area, here in Northeast Ohio, we'd go to the Woodmere store in, near Cleveland. Um, but I think that's number one. Get it through a store. I like to have them shipped to the store, not my house, because then I can pick them up, look at them at the store with the dude or dudette at the store. Yep. Brian Pearson at the Woodmere store is amazing. Um, and then if you have a problem, talk to the store, not don't call Calaris. That's the big tip. Because if you call Calaris, the parent company, you're getting somebody who doesn't understand Alan Edmonds. You call a store, you're talking to a human being who understands service, which yes. is a big part of their business. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So I think with all the, you know, the, the Google Insta tweet face comments in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they're good. Now, granted, it's small sample size, and like I said, I you know showed you what I experience I've had, um, you know, a couple of little small things, but you yeah. know, overall, um, you know, I think they're still in good shape, and you know, hopefully, more good things to come, right? Indeed, indeed, yep. excellent. Okay, all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and if you've ever re-dyed a pair of perfectly good shoes a different color, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. All right, God bless you guys. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go to my YouTube page, Robert Powers, and then click on Playlists. And from there, you can go to things such as before and after videos, where you'll find a whole list of videos similar to this one.